Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And the Lord is saying to me today, we need to pray for Dallas, Texas. We need to pray for Dallas, Texas. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, and I lift up Dallas, Texas to you right now. Heavenly Father, I pray as I stand in the gap on behalf of this city, on behalf of this state, and on behalf of the United States of America. Heavenly Father, as you have given me this place and destination to pray for, I pray for this place of Dallas, Texas right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I cover this place with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, I stand in the gap on behalf of this place, on behalf of your church in this city, on behalf of this people. Anyone that is listening from this place or joining together with me to pray for this place. Heavenly Father, we plead your blood of Jesus Christ. We pray for your perfect will pertaining to this place right now. In Jesus' mighty name. There's also somebody right now, we are praying for somebody's shin bone. Somebody's shin bone. Whether this person has any issue with their shin bone, maybe it's a bone disease, or maybe it's even bone cancer. Heavenly Father, right now, we pray right now. I pray right now for this person to be healed completely in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ right now. Be healed now. Be healed now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Also pray for somebody with breathing issues. Maybe you're having issues with your breathing of recent, or maybe there's somebody with a chest issue. Whatever that issue is in your breathing or your chest right now, Lord, I pray that you'd bring healing to that person right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's also somebody uh, that has a skin condition. I'm going to pray for complete healing for that person with a skin condition right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray right now for that person with a skin condition right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm also praying for doors to open for somebody. God is about to open doors for someone. Get ready. God is about to open doors for somebody in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I also pray for somebody that has a blood condition. If there's anybody with a blood condition, get ready to be healed now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would heal anybody with a blood condition right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, 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 right now. Heal that person. Open doors for that other person and bring healing to any person that needs healing in their body. Just place your hand upon your body right now. Heavenly Father, bring healing to each and every person right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's also somebody, you've been surrounded with negative news, with negative people in a negative environment, and God wants you to arise out of that atmosphere right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says we put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. As you've been in this environment, there is a spirit of heaviness that has been all around you. And God is saying, put on the garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name. We lift up your name right now. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ and we pray for the atmosphere to change and for that person to arise out of that situation and come out of that place right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come up and 
out of that place right now and arise as you put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that has been around you right now. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come and touch that person right now. Give him the grace to come up and out of that situation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, we praise you, Lord. We glorify your name. We lift up the name of Jesus right now above all negative situations. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. And God bless each and every person that joined in the four-day fasting. If you haven't already, you can join in at any time. Do this fast, and I encourage you to read the program because you will learn something and maybe understand some situations within relationships around you right now. And I just want you to get ready to hear God's word right now and allow this message to come into your spirit in Jesus' name. When we turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 6 to 7, I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God will help me, therefore I will not be disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I will not be ashamed. Hallelujah. We can see that the prophet Isaiah, within this chapter and verses, is talking about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, is talking about the crucifixion and the suffering that took place upon Jesus Christ for you and for me. So let's look at the contrast of this. We see towards this, we see one is the persecution and then there, there is the t determination of Jesus to fulfill what he knew would take place and just like it was on the Garden of Gethsemane. He said to himself, if this cup shall pass, then so be it. But the Father willed it, so therefore he had to endure it. Hallelujah. So how can he have this perspective when in the verse above he's about to be scourged, beaten and even spit upon people, even beaten with any recognition of even them pulling Jesus's beard from his very face. How can it get even more humiliating than what took place? Where is God in the midst of all this suffering and shame? Maybe even recently you've asked these same very questions. Have you ever felt like your life was being lived and then all of a sudden there's a 180 degree from your faith and hope. But let me tell you, God is there in the very midst of these trying times. And just like Jesus knew that he would have to suffer, he also warned us that there would be times of persecution. There would be troubled times within the nation. But he said, be not troubled. Be not troubled because the end is not yet. And he's saying the same to us. See, Jesus had prayed that this cup be taken from him and his heavenly father answer was to him no because he knew that he had to endure it have you ever prayed that the lord would see you through something and it appeared that he didn't answer maybe even times the situation even seemed to have got worse it is in within these moments that really they come to challenge our faith things in your Christian walk and maybe what's happening is not what you had thought would take place. 
One is tempted to abandon the faith and determine that God is either deaf to hear us or worse, doesn't care to deliver us. But don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Have you ever been there in your Christian walk? Maybe you are right now. Maybe you're being challenged by everything that is taking place around the world right now. The question maybe that you've even asked yourself, what should I abandon my faith to? What is the other alternative? Let me tell you, there is no alternative. Only Jesus Christ. He, he is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Like Jesus, we have to set our faith like flint and be resolute in our walk with the Lord. We need to trust him even when he is not making sense to us. Remember, his ways are higher than our ways. We need to trust him even within the midst of our suffering, even in the midst of every obstacle. He can bring about good for us and for his kingdom because he can even turn around what the enemy meant for harm and turn it around for your glory. I believe what can separate you, child of God, from the love of God? Can persecution, can, can hunger separate you? No, nothing can separate you from the love of God. We need to trust in the Lord in this hour more than ever before. We need to be assured that in the end, we will not be put to shame because the Lord is and will be our strength and our help even in times of trouble. It is time to trust in the Lord and know that he has everything under control, dear saints. He has everything under control within your life today. Hallelujah. Let us pray, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we acknowledge that we have sinned against you by not even forgiving those who have offended us. We have been even critical and judgmental towards others at times. And we repent of this today and ask for your forgiveness. We also ask Lord, and acknowledge for our inability to forgive without your assistance and your help. Therefore, from our heart, we choose to forgive every single person that has offended us. We bring, Lord, each situation under the blood of Jesus Christ. All that that person may have done wrong towards us, we bring it under the blood of Jesus Christ. We release them from owing anything to us. We remit their sins against us today. We, we, we forgive them and we choose to do that willingly. Heavenly Father, as our Lord Jesus asked you to forgive those who have sinned against him, we likewise pray that your forgiveness come to those who have sinned against us. We loosen them from that bondage. And we know that what is loosed on earth is also loosed in heaven. And we ask that you bless them and lead them into a closer relationship with you today. Lord, you are holy above all others. And all of the strength that, that we need is within your hands. We thank you, Lord. Sometimes we feel like that we cannot go on. The pain and the fear may seem too much to us at times. And we know, Lord, that we may not have much strength and it may seem so little even to get through. But Lord, we know that you will give us the strength to carry on. We know that your intent is to bring us to this place point just not just to leave us in the wilderness to leave us into this distress but to draw us closer to you lord give us the strength that we need to face each difficult situation tomorrow we don't have to worry about tomorrow because oh, today's stress is enough and we surrender it to you we we declare today that we are 
a child of the King. We are also of co-heirs with Christ Jesus. And all Jesus brought and paid for us is our inheritance. We are united today. We are united with Jesus Christ. We have been crucified with Christ. We have died with him and we are also buried with him and will also be raised with him and we are seated with him in heavenly places far above all rule, all power, all authority and above every name that that is named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. Therefore, we carry the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have authority over sickness today. We have authority over sin, over demons and over the world. And Lord, we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. We are, Lord, and will displace the darkness as we are the light. And we have the full armor of God on today. We put on the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, the sandals of peace. We take up the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit for the weapons of our warfare are not fleshly, but they are divinely powerful to tear down the strongholds of darkness. We can do all things through Christ because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. We pray today, Lord, that you will just give us the ability, Lord, to take captive every thought that's coming against us today that is not of you. Lord, I pray that you'll send a hedge of protection, a hedge of your Holy Spirit fire around each person to protect them from the coronavirus, to protect them from all harm, all pestilence, all evil today, because you are with us. You are with us today, and we trust you. We trust in you wholeheartedly today. Lord, I pray that you would Touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today. Heal your people. Deliver your people today. Touch them. Release that anointing that sets the captives free today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Bless all those again that partook of the four-day fasting precious saints if you did not already so many people say they do but then they i find out that they don't actually read uh the actual program let me tell you if you're not reading the program you are missing out yeah you can be fasting but you are not going to be filled with revelation from these teachings to understand the very spirits we could be dealing with and humble yourself to ask God if it's any of these traits you don't have to have all the traits you can have some but you can ask God to remove them say God remove any of these traces of these things that may be active in my life that is hindering and blocking and stopping your blessings from flowing into my marriage into my family into my finances into my Christian walk, whatever it is, God is preparing us for his soon coming. So let us prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I just want to make a special announcement. The Lord will be sending me to the Philippines. Once again, the Lord will be sending me to the Philippines, maybe for under two weeks in June. So if you are in the Philippines, get ready. Uh, I definitely will be in the island of Boho as I've been invited to a big conference there. And also I'll be coming to Manila. So if you are in those places, get ready. God is about to move in those places in a very powerful way. Hallelujah. So I bless you today from my family to yours. God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.